Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This week has been so full on that I feel really, really tired. Could have easily have stayed in bed this morning, but um, I've still got things to do, so I thought best not, I'll save that for tomorrow. But yeah, I've had a really full on week. I had um, a family wedding at the weekend, um, and then I went to see both of my nanas. So all of my family don't live local, um, they live bit of a journey away so whenever I go and see them I end up seeing like both of my nanas on the same day and I end up being out for the entire day but I took myself on a little road trip and it was lovely it was lovely to see them both we've been doing some DIY in the garden um, just doing stuff that's been needed doing for a really long time I found some newts in the garden um i don't have a pond or anything but we found some newts and that was wonderful i got way too excited um managed to snap a couple of photos and i feel so inspired to either draw them or paint them because they were just beautiful i've loved newts since i was little um, but you just don't see many about at least here in england so james is at a wolf room today and the house feels really quiet it feels like it did before he went self-employed and started working from home and I'm just not used to it anymore. It feels really, really quiet, but um, I think I am going to make the most of it and record a podcast. I was gonna do it this morning, but there was a fair bit of banging going on next door. So I didn't think I'd be able to get away with it, but now they seem to have stopped. So maybe, maybe I could, hmm squeeze half an hour worth of podcast out today and I also need to um, package up all of my patron happy mail physical rewards so that's all packaged up I just need to box it um, and write their notes and thank yous and their sweets and all that kind of stuff and um, so I need to do that I got a new book um, whenever I get like an illustrated book I love to show you all just in case you'd be interested as well um, especially if you watched my video that was um, all about my favourite illustrated books well this is my latest one that came out this week by the incredibly talented Sandra Diekman it's called The Secret Forest and it's like a spotting book so it'd be great for kids as well but the illustrations in it are just stunning when I saw um, that Sandra was bringing out another book I immediately went and ordered it because I just adore her work um, I don't want to give away all of the pages just in case you want to go and grab it I don't want to spoil the surprise let me show you one of my favourite pages though. It's this fox um, family scene that's a full two page spread um, and it's just got lots and lots of things to spot so if you have got little ones it would be lovely to sit with them and just find all of the things that are hidden amongst all of the nature. Um, but there's also some, I really liked this, it was a nice surprise at the back. There's like, um, there are a few fact pages so you can learn something along the way as well. I just really, really loved it. But um, that's out this week. I think it came out on the 2nd, it's now the 4th, the 5th, whatever day we're on. But I had to show you because it's just stunning. Uh, another beautiful book for my illustrated books collection. I ran out of Oreos, that is an absolute travesty. I was going to take a little drive today to the craft store because um, I've got some new cutters coming for autumnal Halloween-y themed ornaments. Now I did bears last Christmas and I'd love to do some more bears this year for Christmas um, but I thought I would also get some for Halloween as well. If I get some I mean make some and I thought I had more clay than this but I don't I must have used it and just completely forgot I thought I had a whole packet left um, and I don't know where it's gone I can't for the life of me remember using it but this is all I can find so I do need another packet of clay ready for when my new cutters arrive and then hopefully I can get them cut and they'll dry out um, quick because this is air dry clay it's not one that you bake I find this to be super, super strong though, which is why I like it and I go back to it every time. It's just the DAS one. But yeah, if I can get the um, shapes all cut out this week, they should be nice and dry and give me plenty of chance to paint them ready for the shop update. And I now have a date for the shop update. It's gonna be, I keep looking at my calendar, it's gonna be the 24th of September 
at 7 p.m. UK time. If you are a patron, you'll get a whole hour's early access before anyone else is allowed in because it'll be passworded. Um, so if you've got your eye on anything, you'll get first dibs basically. Um, but yes, I have a date now, it's the 24th, so it's, it truly is full steam ahead um, in the studio, which is an absolute pigsty I might add. There's paint all over my desk and I don't know how it got there because I've not been painting recently, I just, I just don't know. But yeah, there's lots to do, so um, I'm going to go crack on. I would like to find a chance to do some journaling today because it's been a while um, that I might save it for this evening with a nice hot chocolate or something. Ooh, being attacked by zips. Anyway, let's go. I'm still in my dressing gown um, and as you saw earlier in the video I got some new backing cards for badges and pins and I thought I'd update some photos of some oldies but goldies so these are designs um, that's a new one but these are designs from previous years of Halloween 
that I'd love to keep in the shop but the backing cards that they're photographed on on my website are so out of date and I thought these ones were much more fitting for them anyway so I really want to um, update these photos and I've been making a list of um, new products that are going to be photographed but also oldies that need to be re-photographed um, I did do this new badge yesterday it took me ages for some reason to get the sizing right so I wanted to also update my pumpkin badge because that one was super old that was probably two maybe even three years old um, so I wanted to do my new pumpkin but I'm not happy yet with how it fits on the badge so I want to go back as you can see I've been fiddling with that design a fair bit what I've been doing with the um, ones that aren't quite the right size like these I don't throw them away I just use them as little note cards note paper to write thank yous on the backs um, for my shop orders so if you see one of these in your order it's because it was not suitable to go on a badge and, and just to make some use out of them somehow I just thought I'd write on the backs of them and make them into like little notelet slips to go into shop orders and here is where I'm at with making fabric pouches for the shop update so the stack is coming along nicely I've got the um, jackalopes left to make and some extra dragons in there that I was able to I've got some fabric left you know I need to go through the fabric and then order extra zips I think this is probably going to be my biggest fabric pouch drop yet so I'm just trying to uh, in terms of stock levels so I'm trying to make as many as I can but I love it you know the past few days I've just had evenings of sewing fabric pouches and I put some music on or a film in the background and I absolutely love sewing don't know how I got here within my small business I never thought I'd be using my textiles GCSE which didn't go very well back in the day it was a while ago but I never thought sewing would be part of my small business so thank you for making it happen and being on the journey with me gosh I really have been experimenting a lot this week with various bits and pieces I want to bring out some more sticker packs as well for the shop update using um i've got so many illustrations that i've been doing behind the scenes especially over on patreon and i thought that it would be good to put them to some use and actually make some sticker packs with them and some prints so i'll show you what i've got in mind i really love these two designs and thought i could perhaps put together some sort of new autumnal pack i don't know please let me know what you would like to see if we go in the sticker drawer, I can't remember if I showed you these last week or not, but these were the July themed stickers. So we have Mythology and Folklore, um, which is where the jackalope um, came to be. It's because of this theme that the jackalope was born. And then the August ones was Afternoon Tea themed. So I do have um, a couple spare of each of these designs, so they'll both be going into the shop update as well. But I also got these. I got these from Sticker App um, because I wasn't sure if I could do craft stickers myself and they're quite thick actually, they're a really lovely quality. The only downside is they can be really expensive to order in like when you're doing multiple designs so I just thought I'd get this lovely lady to start off with. But yes this one is going to be a new sticker as well and I'm also, I've got a few left of the holographic so the unicorn holographic got a few left of Miko that one's running super super low now um I've got some of the salty ones left if you know you know about the pink salt um there's also these unicorn ones as well which have got a few of those left too holographics um oh what are you doing do you know what having a small business you forget you put stuff in places <laughs> maybe that can go into a sticker pack with these like a spooky autumnal, another, oh I don't know, I don't know what to do. But I do already have the Green Witch sticker packs, so I'm going to make sure that these are nice and stocked up, because I've only got two packs of these left. And and speaking of packs like this, because I do sticker sheets and then sticker packs, and um, the sticker packs I make myself and the sheets are outsourced, because they're on a, a shiny glossy vinyl. But I will restock the woodland animals as well, because those are always... 
uh, a big hit. And then speaking of new illustrations, I finished my haunted house. So I finished it last night. I um, went through and added like lots of texture and things and I really, really love it. It took me a while because um, four page spreads are not my confident point, my strong point, but I really, really want to get into it. Just to broaden my portfolio a bit and see where that takes me in the future. Um, I really love this little headstone. Um, but it's finished, I'm going to get it made into a nice square print and another new print that has been requested is this one, the Twin Foxes one. Um, between all of us, I don't know why it's not a print already because it's one of my favourite designs um, that has popped up in recent... was that better? That was very bright wasn't it? It's one of my favourite designs that's popped up in recent weeks, months. <laughs> Where even are we in the year? But um, I don't know why it's not a print already, so I'm going to get this one made into a print as well. Um, I could actually do a Foxy sticker pack because stickers of this one have been requested as well. So maybe I could just put all of the foxes together and then have one big Foxy family. The moth, not entirely sure yet because we do already have a Bugs sticker sheet. I could always save these ones as shop freebies because I've always got stickers to pop into shop orders but yeah what should I do? So many possibilities and so little time. Mm -hmm.